Welcome everybody to this week's episode of Joy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a side project of restoring an old carburetor that sat in a friend's garage for a couple of years. Now it's really dusty, it's old, it has corrosion on it, it has rust, and typically I would use like a Berryman's B12, the Kim Dip. That would be a really good process to try and get all of it off. But it's about 20 bucks, so I don't want to spend 20 bucks on that. So I'm going to try something else. So I looked online. I found lemon juice was advertised to work just as well and for a fifth of the price. So I picked some up, I'm going to throw some in a bucket, some hot water, and we'll see if it's able to clean it up. Alright, so here's the carburetor I'm working on. As I said, it sat in someone's garage for years. So it has corrosion in it, has rust. I mean the needles down there, all the pretty much all the passageways were clogged up. Has some jeez, I don't know, what is that? cobwebs everything's in it so like I said typically I put it in some kin dip but it's just one project so we'll see how that lemon juice will work out I'm really interested the same thing with the slide tops let's rust in pit it on the other side corrosion in here corrosion in the other one pitted with the rust and that one looks not too bad. but So, I'll throw it in some lemon juice, some hot water, and we'll see how it works. Alright, so first we'll go on the carburetor and the top and the bottoms. Next will be the lemon juice. I got 32 ounces here. Like I said, for about 3 bucks, so very cheap solution, hopefully if it works. And last, some boiling hot water. I'll let these all set for about two hours and I'll come back. So the time is up. Let's pull this carburetor out of the lemon juice. Now to be 100% fair and accurate with this testing, I will admit that it sat in the juice for about eight hours instead of two hours. So it's been juicing for a while. Now, I wanted to do two hours like I explained but I got busy last night and I completely forgot about it so I fell asleep woke up in the morning and realized that it's still in there so let's pull it out and see how the results are and see if I'm a failure or work success first we got the carburetor and surprisingly it looks very clean butterfly valves still look a little bit bad but it is coming out all that rust and everything in there I was going for perfect I mean this is going to be a restoration project it's not going to be some show type of um, product but it looks very good rust over here was pretty much gone wow I am very surprised there's still a film I don't know if you can see that yep there you go there's still a film inside but I'll hit this with some uh, carburetor cleaner and see if the rest can come out. Now for those caps, same thing. Very surprising. Alright, so I'll pull these out, hit it with the carburetor cleaner, and we'll take it from there. Now that I got these pretty dry and on the workbench, the next thing I'm going to do is just spray it with some carb cleaner real quick to get off that last little layer of gunk that didn't come off. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. I'm pleasantly surprised with the results. It's not perfect, but I wasn't going for perfect. I just wanted to be able to function without being all gunked up. Like I said, it's not going to be for some show so show presentation. Alright, got those sprayed. Now I'm just going to wipe it down real quick. And next I'll hit it with some compressed air to make sure I don't have any water left sitting on it. So now that I have the carburetor clean, it's pretty free of the dust and the rust and the corrosion that I had on it. 
you might be asking, so what's going to prevent it from just starting all over again? And the answer to that question is going to be this. I found this product down at the local hardware store, WD-40. It's supposed to uh, prevent corrosion and rust for about a year. So it's a long-term solution until I'm going to use this carburetor again. So I'm going to spray it on here and see if it actually works. So just as advertised, it says just apply it to every part of the carburetor. So here we go. Now I'm doing a very liberal coat. I'll wipe it off with a rag, but I want to make sure everything is coated with it. I want to give this as fair of a shot as possible. Definitely my springs. Get those really well. And inside. Get inside the ports. And there we go. So I'll wipe this down, put it away, and hopefully I won't have a problem with that rust and corrosion again. So I think that wraps it up. So I had that nasty, horrible looking carburetor that sat in my buddy's garage for about five to six years. And he wanted to restore it. He didn't want to pay the 150 bucks to get a new one. So instead of using like the Berryman's Kim Dip for about 20 bucks, I wanted to try something else. So for three bucks, I got some lemon juice, threw it in a bucket, some hot water, let it sit overnight, good or bad thing. I think it was a good thing with the extra time. It, most people said about two hours, but the extra time didn't look like it hurt it and actually looked like it helped. So from there, hit it with some carb cleaner, some compressed air, make sure it was dry as possible. And then the last thing was the WD-40 long-term anti-corrosion. Again. I'm not trying to advertise this. This was the first time I've actually seen it. And from what it looked like, it looked pretty good, but I never used it before. So from there, tossed it in the um, paper bag with all the other parts, wiped it down a little bit, and I'll let it sit and we'll see what happens to it. So I hope you liked this episode. As I said, I wanted to try something new. I had to clean that carburetor. I didn't want to spend the 20 bucks. Three bucks was even better. And I want to see if it worked. So if you like this, um, like it, subscribe it, whatever you want. If you don't, oh well. As I said, I'm doing this just to have some fun and to try something new. So from there, keep two wheels on the road and stay safe. Holy smokes. Another car. Seriously. Holy crap, another car? Man, it's like a speedway out here in the morning. All right, so I think that wraps it up. So, instead of using like a 20 bucket, bear, oh man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> Cars all over the place, what can I say? And another car. Come on, how many cars come through here? It's like a thoroughfare.